trust, how do we find it? That's the conversation we're going to have here today on Self Love Monday. How are you guys doing? This is Ron Simplified Myers, author, podcaster, and your uplifting life partner. Now, this particular topic, I was actually going to shoot an individual uh, video for a young man who uh, asked about this question, about the trust. But I decided, you know what, it's something that I should actually just cover for Self Love Monday, and so therefore we're going to do it here. Although he'll get it before uh, it actually goes live to the public, because as soon as I finish it here, I'm going to send it directly to him, so he'll have it before uh, it actually goes live on the podcast. But anyway, we have to understand, before I even get into the trust issue, let's talk about love, which you guys have heard me talk about many times. Love is accepting a person, place, or thing exactly the way it is. It's not conditions. Now, people will talk about conditional love, unconditional love. And as you know, I don't believe there's any such thing as uh, conditional love. I believe love is unconditional. It means I accept you just the way you are. It doesn't mean agreement. And that's where the people have to make sure they have the clarity. I didn't say agree. I can accept you as an individual. That's why when I talk about being perfect in a 10, that's what I'm saying is you as a person. I'm separating you from what you do. So I can love you and be in disagreement with what you do in your life. And the same thing, like I said, when I'm talking about perfect in a 10 is I can, ex I can love me and call myself perfect in a 10 when I separate me as a person from the things that I do. And then I can have a different conversation on the things that I do where I can make adjustments on those things that I may not agree with the outcome or, um, or the way I handle certain things. But those are totally different and we have to learn how to separate those. So I first wanted to cover the topic that you, we first have to understand what love is and that is accepting people just as they are. And the reason that's so that is so important on this topic of trust is because accepting people as they are means allowing people, which you can't stop them anyway, but I'm just saying from a mental perspective, that you're allowing people to live their life the way they see fit. Now, that doesn't mean you don't give input if you believe that they're doing something that will harm them and you've gained that relationship where you feel like your input could maybe help them adjust and do something differently. Folks, that has not, you can put the input out there, still going to fall back on them whether they decide to follow your input or not. The accepting them as they are means just that stepping back and understand people have the right to make their own decisions and you could accept them and again not agree with what they're doing and if you have a close enough relationship maybe you can have some input and maybe you could get them to see it differently and they can do things differently but that's still going to fall back on them on the decision so the reason i wanted to get the love uh clarified first is because for a lot of people they leap trust to the word love and by that they believe as long as you do what I want you to do, and you guys notice where I'm going here, as long as you do what I want you to do, then I'm calling that now I have trust in you. Folks, that's not trust. That's, again, trying to design other people's lives instead of accepting them as they are. And then as long as they stay in alignment with what you've decided they should do, then you call that trust. And the moment that they make up their own decisions and they do what they think is best for them and it maybe doesn't go coincide with what you believe they should do, then you say they broke the trust. And that's not true. What they did is they made a decision based on what they saw was fit, but the expectations that you had out there, because that's what this really comes from, the trust, is because we put certain expectations on people. And... Again, as long as they follow those expectations, we call that love. Um, and again, as you can see there, you're putting expectations on people, expecting them to follow the design that you put for their life. And then the moment they didn't, you say, I don't trust you anymore. You broke the trust. It's your fault that I'm a person that doesn't trust you. See, you notice that you're putting everything on someone else and the way they behave as to determine how the way you feel and see the world versus... Um, probably a better way to see this is you're not trying to put people, put expectations on people and make sure they live according to that because that's not how you're going to get aligned and at peace with who you are. You have to be able to know the direction. And that's again, what this self love money is all about is learning to love you. 
being a person of great character and integrity. And those are the only things that you have any control over. If you put certain expectations on yourself, see, you can hold yourself accountable. But you can't hold other people accountable for things that you've decided that they should do. Because then you strip them of their freedom. So whenever you have this trust issue, you have to understand where that comes from. It comes from an expectation that you've put on someone else. And because they chose to make a decision that they thought was in their best interest. Because folks, we do things for one or two reasons. Either to avoid pain or to gain pleasure. So at the moment that the person made the decision, chances are pretty good they weren't thinking of pain when they made the decision. So they made it based on pleasure, which means ultimately, even if it was pain or pleasure that drove them, bottom line is they did what they felt was best for them at that moment. But because it didn't meet your expectations, all of a sudden you say and you blame them that now they broke the trust. Now you have trust issues, and the reality is you never, ever let what others do dictate who you are or the way you feel. I, I was thinking of uh, an example because I hear people say, well, I, I have trust issues. And I tell people there are certain situations where you've allowed your faith and your trust to, to, um, to be shaken. But trust is something we all have because when people say, I don't trust, e yes, you do. Example is I'm sitting on a chair right now. I trust that that chair was going to hold me. I didn't sit there. I didn't measure it. I didn't touch it and do all this stuff to make sure that it was solid and the base was not, wasn't broken or anything. I just trust that that chair is, is okay and that it's going to hold me. Now, what if I sat in the chair not realizing that something was loose on it and it broke? See, my trust and that particular chair has now been shaken. Now, am I going to take that? Now, the key is to go fix that chair to make sure that doesn't happen again. But at the same time, if, the, if I knew that chair wasn't broken or was, I mean, it hadn't been fixed or whatever, I'm still going to, if I go back to that chair, if I don't know what's going on, now I might check it a little bit. You guys follow me? Because it's like, I know what happened last time I was here. And it'll probably do that for you a little while when you, when you go to other chairs. You're going to touch them because of the experience that you had. And what I'm getting to is that's gonna happen in relationships. You don't beat yourself up for it, but you're going to maybe, because you felt like that trust, which was the expectations that you put on someone else, because that was quote unquote broken, now the next relationship that you get in, you're only gonna put maybe put your foot in the water a little bit. Be careful of that. Because what's gonna happen is, now you're gonna put expectations on this other person, expectations that they shouldn't be held to because of a lack of trust that you allow to occur because of someone else. Um, you got to be willing. And, and again, I understand that when you first do it, you're going to be a little hesitant. That's called being a human being. But you have to go and do it again. Can you imagine getting in your car and um, all these times have started? And then one time you get in and it doesn't start. Are you going to assume that your car would never start again? And that... No matter what you do, it's just you're done as far as driving because your car will never work again. No, you're going to work on it, get it fixed. And for us, that's us realizing, quit putting expectations on other people and then saying when they don't, when they make their own decisions, now our trust is shaking. We just understand the car was shaky. We can go get a new car or we get that one fixed. But the bottom line is the first time, second time we go to turn the ignition, if it's the same car, we might be a little hes hesitant because the fact is we're going, I know what happened the last time. But see, a couple of times after, as it turns on, our confidence is back. The expectations of it uh, uh, starting up becomes real in our mind again. doesn't mean it won't ever happen again, but we trust that now it's fixed and it's going to work. And it's the same thing in relationships. You have to understand that you have to get back in the game. You can't hold people accountable to the past, and it has to become the past. And you know if it's the past by the way that you're living. And if you're walking around and every time someone does something, you're sitting back and you're just waiting. As that old saying goes, you're waiting for the shoe to drop. It's like you're just sitting there like, I know it. I know it. They're going to do it because you attract that which you put out. So if you're expecting someone to do something to, to, uh, to break the bond, to create 
the lack of trust or whatever, it's coming. And the reason is because you're going to look for any sign to justify the belief that you've now created. Where you have to live in your life is you have to allow things to evolve. And if something happens, then we deal with it. But we can't run around and put everybody in a situation where now I don't trust people because of the actions of someone else. When the reality is I put expectations out there on that person to live a certain way and they chose to live their own way. And now all of a sudden I'm going to say everyone is bad or I can't trust everyone. I can't trust anyone in most in some people's case um, because of the expectations I put on someone else that they didn't live up to. So the bottom line is coming to a realization that the only expectations if you're going to have to put them out there is going to be on yourself. Hold yourself accountable to your character and integrity, making sure those stay intact. And what happens is you'll start to attract people who have great character and integrity because almost everything every issue when I talk with people is gonna always come back in almost every case is how you feel about yourself for some of you you've lost faith in your ability to judge and therefore you're running around scared to make decisions which could include getting in relationships because you've written this story now that I know what to happen the last time I put it I put it out there I got burned well you got to love yourself enough and trust yourself enough that again you learn from past experiences so that when those things pop up again and you can see it you all of a sudden become aware of it but you don't put expectations out there you allow life to happen and when those things line up and that's what lessons all about when it presents itself a certain situation, then you can address it because you've learned from the past. But you can't walk into relationships with an expectation that they're going to be a person I can't trust because eventually something's going to show up to validate your view. I'm not saying they're a person that can't be trusted, and but again, remember, it's your expectations you're putting on them that you're asking them to live to. And you'll never be at peace as long as your life, your feelings are determined by the actions of others. Because everyone has the right to walk out their life the way they see fit. Any trust issues, those are your issues. Because you're basically saying, I need the world to change. I need the world to adjust for me to trust. And this has to be something where you trust you enough. Love you enough. Know that you're enough. Know that you'll be wise enough to make the right decisions, that you're able to walk through life and continue your journey. And at the same time, when the rock, the pebble, whatever size this obstacle comes that jumps in your way, you're able to recognize it and you're able to address it instantly without becoming a person who lacks trust, who puts expectations on everyone else, but is able to, if, like I said, again, if you're going to put it, you put it on yourself. And you go out here and you're able to enjoy this journey that we call life and allow people to walk out their own journey. So I hope that answers the question. And as you guys know, it ain't right, it ain't wrong. It is my opinion. Now, for those of you who haven't had the chance, run over to ronsimplifiedmyers.online. Again, that's ronsimplifiedmyers.online. See the things that I have going on. And remember, folks, if you're not having fun, you should be doing something else. Understand, trust. For most of us, it's coming from an expectation that we put on others and telling them to live a life that we choose. And you're setting yourself up for trouble when that becomes your reality. If you're going to do the expectations, put it on yourself. Make sure you trust you. Know that you're enough and that you're valuable. And you'll attract the person that you say that you truly want. And the trust issues will be resolved. I'll talk to you guys later. Take care. Bye-bye.